Multi funds accounts receivable in Oracle e business suite release 12, also called as MFAR. The concept is it determines the receivables account in receivables transactions. The concept is similar to AP automatic offsets. If you recall the automatic offsets in AP, there are three options balancing account and none which determine what should be the receivable account code combination based on expense account or expense distribution. Similarly in receivables, receivables account is determined based on the revenue account. We are going to study two examples. One is a transaction entered on a company 01, another is a transaction entered on company 02. And we will see how receivables do the accounting under MFAR and non-MFAR scenarios. Typically for accounting you will have to set up the customer side, transaction types, auto accounting etc. So I leave it to you because that's another topic. We will just see how MFAR works. Given that you have done the setups for transaction type, customer side etc. and auto accounting, let us enter one transaction in receivables. The first scenario is non-MFAR in which we are going to enter a receivables transaction let us say for American Telephone and Telegraph company immediate payment terms, line items So we are entering first transaction and let us directly enter the transaction on the revenue account of company 02. So I am modifying the revenue distribution created by receivables. I save it, complete the transaction and let us do accounting, create final accounting and post. Accounting has been done successfully. So, tools view accounting. So, what we have done in this example is this is non MFAR scenario. This is our normal receivables, wherein revenue we have taken for company 02, company 02, and we have not done anything for receivables. So receivables has been taken automatically by your auto accounting rules and you can see that the receivables account has also taken has taken 0, 1 as the company as per the definition of auto accounting. However, when from one operating unit you want to do the receivables for multiple balancing segment values, you would like this to be derived from the distribution that is from the revenue account. So let us see how we can use that kind of a functionality in receivables. For an MFAR scenario you have to go to the subledger accounting method and modify the method for the accounting to be done by MFAR. So I am choosing subledger accounting method and I am using custom accrual here so that I can demonstrate the change and let us go to receivables. Currently it is receivables default here. I am going to change this and I am going to use MFAR accrual balancing. There are two options similar to payables balancing works for the balancing segment accounting works for the account segment. 
So we are going to do the balancing and save it. Let us check that your AAD has been validated. So yes, it is valid. All the JLDs are showing valid status. Now let us enter the same transaction again. So coming back to this scenario, we actually entered a second case without MFAR and we have seen that this choosing 0 to did not have any effect on the receivables account. Now we go to next step, set up MFAR. We have chosen the application accounting definition for MFAR and we will use or we will execute another example with AR invoice for company 02 and we will see the accounting. So once again let us choose the customer. Line items. Save it. Close this window and this is not automatic receipts. Let's go to distribution. And once again, I am changing the rounding and revenue to 0 2. And save this. I am keeping receivables at 0 1 itself. I have not made any change in the receivables. I complete the transaction. And tools, let us create accounting. and tools view accounting. So let us view the transaction accounting now. What we should expect is that the balancing segment value we have given in the revenue should also be used in receivable. So this is the balancing segment value we had given for revenue. And the same is being used here automatically for the receivable account. There is no distribution generated for the rounding because the amount for rounding was zero. So this is exactly a similar functionality to what you have in payables. So for a moment I am going back to payables and showing you where this automatic offset you can set up. So you have to navigate to payables and then go to options and payables options uh, payables options window just like you have this automatic offset method non balancing account a similar functionality can be used in receivables but they have not provided options like payables options you have to go and change the sub ledger accounting method. Uh, the, you have to choose the related uh, AAD for MFA. And you will notice that when you go to change the AAD, so I am going back to SLA methods. I choose custom accrual. And let us go to receivables. Here, I can either choose balancing or accounting, similar to what I showed you in payables. So if you do accounting, what it is going to do is, it is going to take all segments other than accounting from your revenue account and only the accounting segment will be taken as per the auto accounting. So that is what I explained MFAR for account segment and that's all about this 
functionality in release trail. Thank you. Go through this www.facebook.com slash r12 financials book set to see information about the 21 volumes on, on the book set on Oracle. Thank you. Bye-bye.